what I don't think people understand about this um, Bank of New York Mellon, but it's not really, they're just the clearinghouse, but these banks that are always doing short-term loans that are very benef beneficial for the banks because they're basically basically getting free money because they're, think about it, they're loaning massive amounts of money out to the government and then the government has to pay interest and they know they're going to get the money back because it's the government. Um, but what, what, what I don't think people understand about a, a, a company as big as Amazon is that Amazon is like everything that Amazon removes from the pile is reserves because, um, because be, be, you have to understand like they always have savings. They always have cash on hand, no matter what. Um, but okay. But I guess it could, it could be moved to someone else within the bank. But sometimes those people that it moved, that the money's moving to are not in as good of financial shape <clears throat> because one day everyone realizes Facebook is about to run a Ponzi scheme on us. Wait, what? Why? They're going to sell us sell us monopoly money and they're going to arbitrarily make the values go up um just like a stock and then we they're going to try to get more people on board and every time that a person has money on board that they have invested with this currency then that that is what they're considering their money that they can have to buy currency to defend the value of their currency. So um, then they can make it go up arbitrarily, but no matter what, they have to do, they have what problem? Overhead. So the monopoly money costs money to make. It specifically costs electricity to make. And then everyone goes, no, it's cryptocurrency. It's innovative. It's the new thing. And then it's like, okay, no, it's binary it's, it's, it's a number that is ones and zeros. So it's a binary number that is attached through hashing to a bunch of other, uh, binary numbers that are actually representative of transactions in which people exchanged the cryptocurrency, but it, so it's an algorithm that is allows people to exchange money. That's what, uh, the Bitcoin algorithm really is. And so um, the Libra algorithm would be a way of exchanging money, but um, the, it still has to go back to dollars and still has to have banks involved. And so no matter what, I guess it's, is it trying to be Bank of New York Mellon? Mellon? It is. It is. That's actually what, it, what um, Libra is. But then do they not have the same sort of oversight and, and the same sort of rules? So they are, they are basically, I guess that's what Facebook's doing is they're creating Bank of New York Mellon. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a, that's, that's why I've said my most important advisors would be economists because I don't, I, I'm not an expert in, in economics. Um, but I, I do understand cryptocurrency and that's why I'm saying like, you don't understand they, there's, it's, it's not free to make. So there's a bunch of overhead and you're putting your money, in, but then aren't they, but then don't the cryptocurrency money, the cryptocurrency people make money on the transactions. That's like one of the biggest things they make money on because they have to deal with storing this, this ledger. And so like, they'll like charge you five bucks a transaction or something like that. And I, I would think that Facebook would have to charge for transactions, but then they would have to also convert back to the dollar. So it'd be like a dollar to, to Libra, to Libra. Back to dollar. Or you're assuming everyone's going to start using Libra and buying stuff on Facebook all the time. I don't know. I, I'm, but I do know that it's a trick that if, if, if you're cryptocurrency, like, I mean, what are you going to buy on Facebook? You're going to buy ads because that's what Facebook's money is about is ads. All right. So I feel like when we talk about the Java development kit, um, Java development kit is all those, all those imports that comes with the Java development kit. So, um, like I, I can't imagine that like if I'm using Scala and I import from Java, like java.util.time or whatever it's called, I don't even know what it's called. I'd have to look it up or any of those methods like that. Um, then, um, 
wouldn't you be using using the Java develop, development kit? And so um, I really don't think people understand that the Supreme Court case, which like maybe how much did Oracle pay for Java? Okay, Google must pay the amount that Oracle paid for Java. And then, but, but Oracle, if they want, will continue to maintain Java. If not, then other people can maintain Java because Apache can take control of Java. Uh, because it's like almost like a national security thing, I think, that people can use Java. And so this whole notion that everyone who codes is going to like have, have Oracle own part of their code, mm, not okay with that. Um, but I, I, I feel like the Supreme Court might be okay with that because the Supreme Court understands the law. I understand the president. It's all about president. It's all about what some guy in 1842 did, and he said so, so I agree with that precedent he made. That's not how Supreme Court talks. Supreme Court talks very talk like properly. All right, so um, they are old-timers, though, and that is a very big concern for me because I feel like they're all connected to this uh, dictatorship at the Harvard Law School, and I don't think people understand. They're like, well, if we lose the Harvard Law School, how are we going to ever have super-duper rich people that have clinged to that power getting super-duper amounts of money and not actually contributing to society? I don't know. Darn, I hope I could find someone to, to, to use the money that these people from Harvard, Harvard use on each other um, but in a more productive way because I might go hire people from Stanford and from Duke and from uh, DU or, or from uh, Colorado College. It doesn't matter. Like there are uh, like so many freaking good colleges. I mean, I don't understand how um, Harvard has it cornered, has, has, the, has the brains department cornered. But specifically, uh, what I do understand, and I think it's because they have the bill writing department cornered, which means – they give themselves tons and tons and tons of money, and then they are completely in control of these political parties because they're saying, he's not a Democrat. And it's like, all right, are you sure I'm not a Democrat? Like, I mean, ha ha can't, like, there's no way I'm a Republican. I definitely, for some reason, get less annoyed by the Republicans right now, which is really weird. It's really weird that Fox News, certain times a day, annoys me way less than than like um, CNN specifically, but MSNBC, it's just like, it's like you're, you're scared. And the last thing you want is a president that's scared. So it's like, no, you need to be scared as president. It's like, no, I I'm confident because I actually like understand the whole situation. And so like when something happens, it's not like a, Hey, give me a, a rundown on, on like everything I need to know, which you can't because there's some things you can't know unless you're, pretty much me but all right um you can vote for whoever you want